transportation is able to move faster, fluently, without... Three-year-old Amon is always on the move in a city expanding options for just that. Houses, another thing that we have for his toys, and he likes to build cities. He also builds, like, the roads that are for them. His mom, Katra Muse, was excited to hear that GRTC is planning to expand their pulse service north to south. The initial 12-mile phase as planned runs from the Azalea area near the Richmond Henrico border, down Chamberlain, through downtown and into Southside along the 9th Street Bridge and out Hull Street. It's an honestly great idea with the bus routes expanding the way that they are. More opening opportunities to get where we need to go. This event is one of several community engagement opportunities in the coming days, so riders and residents can start to learn about the project and share their feedback. It's going to redefine how we move and how we live and where our businesses go. And so we want to do that together. Henry Bendu with GRTC says while the route is established, they want to hear from community members about where the dedicated bus lanes and stations should go along the route. We do not have a final design. We have initial conceptual designs, which I would argue is even more exciting because it means we all get to build what it's going to look like together. GRTC plans to gather community input, and there's a plenty of time to do that. This phase of the project goes through 2026. Since the north-south corridor would nearly double the existing pulse length, construction is now years away. We want to reach out to the community, to our riders, to our potential riders, really find everybody that will be affected by the system and let them weigh in and share and talk about what it's going to mean for the future. I, that's all I've been hearing from the community is we need mass transit, mass transit, Mr. Jones. Melvin Jones Jr. takes the current pulse out to his doctor in the West End. You know, um, I go out to um, MCV out there to get my treatments for my back. So it's a good thing. Living in Richmond 60 plus years, Jones sees North-South Rapid Bus Transit as a practical help to so many people. I think it'll be a big thing. You know, people might not can drive and they might want to come in to see what Richmond is all about. And this will help us out a lot. I really believe this really will help Richmond. In the coming week or so, there's actually four different opportunities for you to talk directly with GRTC officials about this project. The first one's going to be on Wednesday, September 11th from 11 to 1 at the Downtown Transfer Plaza. The next one will be Thursday, September the 12th from 3 to 6. That's at the Whole Street Branch Library. Then the big meeting that's going to be at Main Street Station on Monday, September 16th from 5 to 7 p.m. And then there'll be a virtual session on the 19th. If you missed any of those details or want to read the nitty gritty information about this project, we have a link to do so on our website. That's WTVR.com. In Richmond, Jake Burns, CBS 6.